Hi, in this video, we are going to understand the second part of ninth chapter, that is heredity and evolution. The video mainly helps in study about evolution and classification. We will cover the following topics in this video. First, we will know what is evolution. After that, we will know about imaginary examples with different situations to understand the evolution. We will also study about different types of traits in detail. The evolution and classification will also be studied in this video. We will learn about the evidences of evolution in detail. And lastly, we will know about human evolution. So, let's start with our first topic. What is evolution? Evolution is the sequence of gradual changes which take place in the primitive organisms over millions of years in which new species are produced. To understand how evolution takes place, let us consider some imaginary examples with different situations. In the first situation, a color variation arises during reproduction. It results, green beetles got the survival advantage or they were naturally selected as they were not visible in green bushes. In a second situation, blue beetles did not get survival's advantage. Elephants suddenly caused major havoc in beetles' population. Otherwise, their number would have been considerably large. In third situation, no genetic change has occurred. Now, we are going to study about different types of traits. They are A. Acquired traits Traits that is acquired due to interaction with the environment. It is not inheritable and cannot direct the evolution. B. Inherited traits. Traits that is expressed in subsequent generations. It is inheritable and helpful in evolution. The next topic is speciation. Speciation is the process of origin of a new species from existing species. Speciation takes place when variation is combined with Geographical isolation. Factors which lead to speciation are following. First, gene flow. Second, genetic drift. Third, natural selection. And fourth, geographical isolation. Now, we are going to study about evolution and classification. As we know that both Evolution and classification are interlinked. Classification of species reflects their evolutionary relationship. Similarities among organisms allow us to group them together and to study their characteristic. Characteristic is the details of appearance or behavior of a particular form or a particular function. Our next topic is Tracing Evolutionary Relationship. The modern system of classification is based on evolutionary relationship. The degree of similarity and dissimilarity shows that all animals have evolved from a common ancestor. Such evidences of evolution are The first one is morphological and anatomical evidences. It includes homologous organs and analogous organs. The second one is paleontological evidences. It includes fossils. Homologous organs have same basic structural plan and origin but different functions. They suggest the presence of a common ancestor. For example, four limbs of frog, reptile, etc. Analogous organs. They are the organs that have different origin 
and a structural plan but same function they suggest different ancestor for example wings of butterfly bird and bat fossils are the preserved remains or impression of living organism of the past for example trilobite means fossil invertebrate and nitia means fossil fish a question come in our mind that how do we know the age of the fossils there are two components to estimate the age of the fossils one is relative deeper the fossil older it is and the second way of dating fossil is by detecting the ratio of different isotopes of the same element in the fossil material evolution by stages planaria is the first animal which show eye like structure the dark spot on planaria are light sensitive spots but a planaria cannot distinguish between two different objects flatworm has rudimentary eyes enough to give fitness advantage insects have compound eyes humans have binocular eyes most advanced because humans can recognize colors and have very good depth perception the next topic is evolution by artificial selection artificial selection is the uses of plants with desirable characteristics to produce new varieties for example from wild cabbage many varieties like broccoli cauliflower red cabbage kale cabbage and kohlrabi were obtained by it molecular phylogeny evolution occurs due to changes in dna it is based on the idea that changes in dna during reproduction are the basic events in evolution lastly we will talk about human evolution all human beings belong to single species known as homo sapiens all human are originated in africa first genetic footprints can be tracked back to our african roots among them some ancestor left to africa and the migrant slowly spread across the planet from africa to west asia then to central asia eurasia south asia east asia and so on that's it in this chapter thank you